In this video, I'm going to show uh, how you can tell the difference between Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, Revised, 4th uh, Edition, 5th Edition, and then with 6th Edition, they started going with putting the Roman numeral 6 here. So this is an Alpha, and I'm going to show all of these with the Lay Druid card. This is the Alpha Lay Druid. Notice it has the black border no copyright date, no symbol, uh, which usually appears here, and it has the more rounded corners that I showed in the previous video. This is a beta lay druid, still no copyright. The only difference between the alpha and the beta, they both have the black borders, but this has um, sharper corners up here. And if you stacked them, stack the alpha in front of the beta, then you would see the beta corners out through the back. Okay, this and these two together, alpha and beta, make up the limited release of Magic the Gathering. This is the uh, unlimited version of the Lay Druid. Notice the the difference between the alpha and beta, and then the Unlimited is that you have the white borders, and then where the white where the white border meets the actual green. Notice there's a 3D bevel, and I'll zoom in. Try to get the camera focused. Notice right in there between the white and the green, there's a uh, 3D bevel. Again on Unlimited, there's no copyright date and no symbol. And the reason we need to notice that bevel is because on revised, which is also known as third edition, between the green and the white, there's only a solid black line. There's no 3D bevel. And also if you look at the difference between the images, it looks a little washed out over here on the revised image hoping the camera's able to pick that up. But other than that, the only difference is between on the unlimited, there's a 3D bevel between the white and the green, and on the revised, which is also referred to as third edition, there's just a solid black line. And then with fourth edition, they started using, uh, fourth edition looks pretty much like unlimited, except they started putting the uh, a copyright date, if I can get the camera to focus, and then the copyright date is 1995. Under the artist's, under the illustrator's name. Again, still no symbol though. Okay, this is 5th edition. And you'll notice the copyright date, instead of saying 1995, Copyright date says 1997. Hopefully that's focusing right under the illustrator's name. Okay, I'll go back through it real quick, one time in reverse. For those of you that want to know the difference between the, some of these first, day, first sets, this fifth edition, copyright date 1997. 4th edition, copyright date 1995. Revised has the solid black border in between the white and the color. And on this card it's green. Unlimited has the bevel, but also has the white border. This is the beta card, black border, sharp corners and the alpha card with the really rounded corner, corners up here but the black border and then two other cards I'm going to take the time to show you notice they both have the sharp corners these represent the uh, alpha cards from the limited uh, edition release and one of them on the back says collector's edition and one of them says international edition and notice they have gold borders in the back and both have sharp corners up here 
That's to distinguish them from other sets. And then let's see. I also have right here, as promised, with 6th edition, they started putting uh, the illustrator and the copyright centered at the bottom of uh, the card, but then you also had the Roman numeral 6. And for 7th edition, it just had a number 7, um, and then so forth, all the way up to today, where they have, like what you see here, And they have a, this is from the Magic 2015 core set, M15, and this is a rare card. Notice it has that little foil detail there, hologram type thing. And then notice, since this is a rare, the icon is gold. This is an uncommon, so the icon there is silver. And this is a common card from the Magic 2015 core set. And so it's just a black and white symbol there. Uh, just to show you fr from some other sets, like this is Ice Age. It was released around the same time as 4th edition. It's from 1995. And there's the symbol. almost looks like a snowflake. There's the symbol from The Dark. It's a crescent moon. 1994 copyright date. And there's Homelands. And there's Fallen Empires. And there's Legends. Looks like a column, like a Roman column. 